So the true treasure of life and the treasure of existing from creation until now, you know, you have to have a discipline to even be able to inherit the knowledge of the universe because the knowledge where man inherit without the teaching of another person, divine knowledge is stored in every man's DNA because the information of creation is written in our DNA. Through spiritual discipline and self-conduct, we can be able to access, we can tap into this vast knowledge base through the DNA. We can tap into our DNA through discipline and this way of life. So this is why Rastafari take this way of life. Because the way of the world is not the way of nature. The way of nature is the way that is right. The way of man is the way of miscalculations and confusion. Yes, yeah, so in order to chart the real way of life through the mystic of nature, because after all we are put here by nature, made by nature. You know, you know, Rastafari is just a way to connect to nature, you know. You live natural, you're gonna end up with the people that are natural. You live sophisticated, you're gonna end up around people who are sophisticated. You see me I say you live rich, you're gonna end up around rich people. So you try to be have a proper mindset of the original man. Cause basically that me really are gravitated to having the original mindset of man without the influence of a man giving you knowledge. So you want to be who you're supposed to be in terms of man and nature. Not man to man, not man to woman, not man to child, not man to animal, man to nature. You see me, I said the only connection is Rastafari, I'm not seeing the other connection. You see me, so you want to get in tune to your greater self, you have to find a medium, you have to find a door. It's like a portal, you have to find a portal to enter. And in this dispensation of time, Rastafari liberty is the portal. You know, as we made a reference before as the tabernacle being a place of astral traveling. You know, this is the portal to enter into different places within self. Most people, most people will not connect back to nature because if you have no idea of that treasure that your father left you, I guess you're not going to look for it. Those who are going to connect to nature are those who are divinely genuine to wanting to connect. Yeah, because if it's not a genuine inspiration, you won't get the fullness. You can't come halfway. So the people who take this liberty are people who have a genuine intention of doing something right. If I and I is a race car driver and I drive five miles per hour, if I was to collide with something, I guess I would have enough time to change my direction. But if I go fast 100 miles per hour, chances are I wouldn't get enough time to avoid the collision. So society is the 100 miles per hour race car and Rastafari is the 5 miles per hour. You see me? So Rastafari help you to deviate from that collision. Yeah, Rastafari take you away from the problems and the troubles of society. <coughs> you see me? So I just just some seed. Because even the raw food liberty, the raw food liberty like we even profile have for over 40 years. I eat food when I cook. It is, it is blatant and it is undeniable that raw food make you look younger and make you live longer. You can see that on the brethrens that eat this raw food. Based on the way you want to think, it leads to the food where gave that inspiration, which was vegetable. So I find out so based on what I think, I slowly transcend from meat to vegetable. Yeah. Yeah, man. It was a natural transition. You never know when it happened, you see me? But based on how you want to think, I feel sad that make me gravitate to the vegetable because the vegetable and positive thoughts go together. You know, um, hunting animalistic thoughts go with eating meat because you really have to hunt the meat and kill it. So you have to have the butcher mindset. Definitely. You see me? I say, so based on the opposite of that, preserving life lead to vegetable because the vegetable is not, you know, kill vegetable for eat vegetable. The vegetable have been live nutrients, live enzymes. So based on that, I feel like that helps to generate positive thoughts. So I feel like that causes a transition from meat to vegetable. God, them say iron sharp, not iron. So if I have a piece of iron, I need something where tough like iron for sharpness. 
So in the sense of saying vegetable, vegetable, not aggressive. You see me and say, so when you consume the vegetable, you, you gain the same momentum as the vegetable. While animals now, if you consume the animal, you become aggressive like the animal. That's why society is so aggressive because society mostly eat meat. If we have a, a vegetable-based society, we would have more positive growth in other society in terms of how people think and how they live in their day-to-day lifestyle. First, in order for you to be to develop a proper thought, I guess your mind has to be fit. You know, it's just like if you have a, a race to enter and you're a race car driver, you'd have to ensure say, your vehicle up to par. You see, because, and the same thing with we, we is a really a vehicle. And in order to get the best out of your vehicle, you have to put in the best fuel. And vegetables seem to be the best. But people who don't live or live around organic food, because in Jamaica we mostly consume organic food. Rasta mostly consume organic food or food or grow itself. But I advise them to start growing the food that they eat. You know, them backyard, you know, them garden, you know, them house, upon them house top. Grow the food that them eat, because we mostly eat vegetable, And most vegetable grow anyway through direct sunlight or battery powered light or electricity. It's a man say light generated from electricity. So I'm going to advise them to start growing them vegetables in the house or in the garden or in the backyard. Get rid of the lawn and plant up a farm. Planting food is like raising children. Yeah, because if you don't protect the plant, the bugs eat it. And if you don't water the plant, it will wither away. Because the plant needs that nourishment. The plant needs that someone to look over it. And by planting the food, you develop a, a balance. You develop a relationship with the food. Yeah, you know? You develop that love that you have for your child. You develop the same love for the food. So when you plant it with that vibe and you reap it, it's like... It's like a cycle within planting the food and reaping it. It's like you plant your blessing, you know? You plant something where you consume it. You're more in tune. Yeah, that be feel when you plant the food where you eat, I eat the food where you plant. Yeah, make it more in tune. Skiller dun dim, skiller dun dim, rasta skiller dun dim, 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 dim. Skilla dun dim, rasta skilla dun dim, rasta skilla dun dim 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 dim. Me skilla dun, and Nancy am a giver. Me a hunt for the money, but I'm no suicider. Skilla see I'm a driver, driving us to better days. Bad mind don't need them. It don't make no sense. You try to mislead them. Don't need them. Fake smiles are just for false pretend.